Good morning, folks. We have several items to hit today. Space weather, including a massive far side eruption on the sun, a sun diving comet, another big earthquake, space science, including something we're watching closely, and an announcement about our next observer event. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star and find it was a mostly calm day on the Earth-facing side. No major flares, no large CMEs, just a continued turning of the active regions in the large plasma filaments. We will be continuing to watch those areas today as we head towards the weekend, especially after a major burst occurred on the far side yesterday. We will get to that momentarily, but first... While the solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are currently quiet, we don't expect that to be the case a bit later tonight. The dark coronal hole turning away sent its amplified plasma stream towards Earth two days ago, and the higher density impacts are expected tonight followed by the next 24 hours of faster plasma streams. Geomagnetic activity could be amplified a bit. Folks, a tiny little sun-diving comet burned up on approach to the sun yesterday. It was likely a Kreutz comet, and it sailed into the southern hemisphere right after the morning show yesterday. As we have seen several times, the sun erupted directly afterwards. Very large burst released from the far side. Luckily, this one is not going to affect the Earth. Seismicity up next, where Afghanistan took another large rumble. This one struck near the same region where the previous earthquakes hit just a couple days ago. No word on further damage or casualties just yet, but prayers are with them. First article today shows what NASA's Roman telescope will do. They say it will be able to take highly lensed regions and trace them back to what the region should actually look like without those lenses. That should be very interesting. Up next is a study of a furious outburst in star formation near the galactic center, much more than expected, but they also scoped water ice signatures there. That is a heck of a place to find them there near the nucleus of the Milky Way. Top article today is about the new SPICES program. It will not only trace the solar wind, but the neutral particles from interstellar space. Veteran observers who know about the increased dust, charged wind, and neutral atoms on the rise in the solar system due to the incoming galactic current sheet, we should expect an update in the near future on that front from this mission. Folks, a little bit of a shift here. The Big Burb disaster vehicle actually needs to go into the shop, so we are postponing our event that was supposed to be on Saturday. If you got tickets, check your email and look for Kat's message. It will now be next month, and it will be at Observer Ranch. Tickets found at the link below. Love to see you out there. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.